Welcome. So I have this wheel here off a 2006 Honda Civic and this rim got bent here and it punctured the tire. So I need to replace the tire and I tried hammering this rim out and I wasn't able to get this uh, bent. And one reason I wasn't, probably because the tire's on here, it's probably absorbing a lot of the shock when I hit it with my hammer. So I could get the tire off and then try and bend it back or I could take it to shop and see if they can bend it back. But I thought I'll just replace the wheel. Uh, because these can leak sometimes after they get bent. It's just I thought I'd replace the wheel. So I looked online at a salvage yard that was local and the wheels were like uh, $70 for a used wheel. So then I went on Amazon and I found this here. And this is a uh, Dorman steel wheel with black painted finish. And, and I just searched for, can I get up there? Uh, 2006 Honda Civic steel wheel. So um, this is $42 with free shipping and it says 16 by six and a half. So I want to check that this was the correct wheel. And this seems like the correct wheel, but I just want to double check these figures. So we've got 16 and that's pretty easy. You can look on the tire here. This might be kind of hard to see, but it says 205-55R16. So we know this is 16 inch. If we take a tape measure and measure this, if you measure from the edge of the rim here over to here, looks like we got about 17 and 3 eighths. But you really want to kind of take more of this inside measurement here. So it can be a little tricky to measure rim, so it's good if you have the tire on, just go by that measurement um, instead of trying to, because if you accidentally measured this, you might think, oh, it's a 17 inch rim. Um, well, you're going to get the wrong size uh, replacement rim if you did that. So this is 16 inch rim. And then I wanted to know the width. And it's kind of hard to measure, get this tape measure put away. It's kind of hard to measure the width with the tire on it because you need to measure the inside of this. So we have this surface I'm touching here. The opposite side of this, you want that inside measurement of the rim. So what I did is I took some wood and I made a little form here and you could do this with any wood. What I did is I clamped a board on here and I touched that to the outside of that rim and then on this side, I held this in place and I took a pencil and I marked here and on the bottom side. Um, and this was touching the other outside face. So then uh, I took it off and then I clamped this and lined up those pencil marks. So this is a relatively accurate measurement of the outside measurement of that. So if I measure here, I've got about seven, six and seven eighths inches. So this says six and a half inches. So this was an outside measurement here. This would be the inside measurement. So that makes sense. If this said like eight or nine inches, which you wouldn't see on a Honda Civic, but if it did, then I'd know that my numbers are probably off. The other measurement we have here is 115 millimeters, and that's the uh, bolt circle. So when you have a five lug like this, you're gonna measure from the center of here to like a line bisected by those lugs, I think, uh, is how that works. So we have uh, one, 15 would be right here. And this ruler is old. I got this when I was a little kid. I don't have a lot of metric rulers around. So where my thumbnail is, if I line up with the middle of that bolt, that gets us about over, actually it might be the outside of these uh, lug nut holes. Uh, it's about 115 with this measurement. So if I had a more accurate ruler, I'd probably use it. But So that looks about right too. So that's gonna give me some confidence that this is the correct wheel. Um, I don't have like the offset and stuff on here, but you know, those measurements line up. I think this is the right one. So I'm gonna order this wheel and hopefully I'll do a follow-up video when it comes in and I'll show you what it looks like uh, compared to the uh, original wheel and see if the construction looks decent at all. So if you have any questions about this, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.